welcome to my kitchen. So on the menu today is some creamy garlic sauce. And all you need is some heavy whipping cream, salt and pepper, uh, minced garlic and your oil to get a more uh, a sauce with more depth and um, a meatier feel to the sauce you're either going to add some heavy cream to your um, bacon drippings whatever was left from cooking your bacon and then there's always little crumbs of the bacon in the oil itself um, with some salt and pepper and that creates a almost creamy bacon sauce so today I'm making a neutral sauce because I don't have any leftovers um, of um, bacon drippings. So let's go! Well, these are the things that you need. Some cream, some garlic, some salt. I use pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. And with these ingredients you create the most delicious, something I would pay for in a restaurant sauce. As a side note, I love garlic, so I add garlic to everything. So if you're not a fan of garlic, you can either add a really small quantity of it or leave it out. All right, so to the pan. Oh, so let me get it right. Nope. There it is. Okay, I generally do a uh, medium heat and to the pan it is this easy to the pan we add some heavy cream some garlic for me it's a tablespoon because I really love my garlic generous pinch of salt and some pepper and then you leave it to come to a boil and you will season once you taste it if it needs a little extra pepper or salt or even some kind of herb okay so you can see it coming to a boil heating I say coming to a boil but it's starting to heat through I just whisk in the garlic and the salt and the pepper and you want the whole pan to be bubbling not just the sides and it needs this bubbling action to thicken so be patient with it, but watch it because you don't want it to bubble over or burn. And whisk every so often. Okay, so it's come totally to a bubble and we have tasted it and my husband has decided it needs some green. And so he's sprinkling in, that's enough, some thyme. And then he's going to quickly whisk and taste it and tell me what he thinks. Here we go. This is the thickness you're looking for. At this point, you can turn off the heat and taste. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah. Okay, so that was good. We served a creamy, herby garlic sauce. I like adding some kind of fat to the sauce, um, particularly um, bacon grease, um, because it just adds that meatier depth. And then recently I discovered the, if you add some heavy cream to your oil that you fried the your steak in it creates this beautiful rich meaty sauce and it is quite delightful you can eat it with your asparagus or you can eat it with the steak 
it is something I would pay money for. And it is so simple and so quick and so easy.